Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and right here, right now, I'm going to tell you guys all you need to know about the ox in Chinese astrology. So, hey guys, oxes, <laughs> welcome back to the Sunny Side. Just to let you know, the first half of the, and this video is going to take a while, so chill out. <laughs> the first half is going to be about the personality of the ox, and the second half is about the compatibility of the ox. So feel free to fast forward if you like. All right, now, in addition to all that, I'm a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. It's Western astrology, obviously. And if you want a personal reading or you want to know what's going on with that, check out the description box below. And check it out. Just check it out in the description box. In addition to all of that, every morning here on the channel, we, I live stream all the horoscopes. And I also uh, do personal mini, mini astrology readings, if you guys want to know that. If you know, save some money, do a mini reading, check it out. And every night, I read your tarot cards. And uh, so those are the live streams. If you're into any of that, definitely tune into the channel. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe right now. Just please subscribe. And in addition to all of that, what else is going on? Obviously, I teach astrology and I have astrology and tarot workshops if you want to learn that stuff. And we have full moon spells and new moon spells here on the channel. And that's the action. All right, let's get it down to it. <clears throat> Here's the ox. Do, 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 do. February 11th, 1937 to January 30th, 1938, you're a fire ox. If you were born January 29th, 1949 to February 16th, 1950, you're an earth ox. February 15th, 1961 to February 4th, 1962, you're a metal ox. February 3rd, 1973, to January 22nd, 1974, you're a water ox. February 20th, 1985 to February 8th, 1986, you're a wood ox. February 7th, 1997 to January 27th, 1998, you're a fire ox. January 26th, 2009 to February 13th, 2010, you're an earth ox. February 12th, 2021, to January 31st, 2020, you're a metal ox. January 33rd, uh, January 33rd, there's no 33rd. <laughs> January 31st, 2020, 2033, to February 18th, 2034, you're a water ox. <laughs> All right, just to remind you guys, just to, for those who don't know, I am recording these, I do record the videos live now on the channel. So if I start to break out laughing, it's because... Some of the sunny siders are telling jokes, making me laugh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. The personality of the ox. For thou... <clears throat> I'll read this in my... For thousands of years, mankind has valued the strength of the oxen. Reliable and hardworking. They can be dependable upon. They can be dependable upon, Sunny. <laughs> Reliable and hardworking. They can be depended upon, and many of their sterling qualities are also found in those born under the ox sign. True to their word, oxen are redoubtable figures. Never half-hearted when they commit themselves to something, they like to see it through. They are, no, they are also no-nonsense sorts, and, favoring tradition, stick to the tried and tested. New methods, gimmicks, and constantly changing from one thing to another are not for them. Instead, they are practical, methodical, and thorough. They aim to do things well. However, being self-willed, they can also be stubborn, and changing an ox's mind once it has been made up is no easy task. Oxen are also very thoughtful and consider their words and actions carefully. Indeed, when in, the company, when in company, they tend to be reserved and do not open up easily. They have a small but close circle of trusted friends, and these friendships will have formed over a long time with some dating back to childhood. Similarly, similarly, in matters of the heart, oxen like to be sure before they commit themselves, and the romances are often long and protracted. Here again, they take the responsibility seriously and are very loyal to and protective of those who are dear to them. In the home, though, they do like, in the home, though they do, pff, in the home, though, they do like to make most of the decisions and will strive to run a well-ordered and efficient household. If anyone slacks off or annoys them in some way, they will be sure to let them know. When rankled, which is rare, 
they can have a formidable temper. Oxen like to proceed steadily and surely in most areas of life, and when they have chosen a career, they are likely to remain with it, becoming ever more proficient as the years go by. While not outwardly ambitious or materialistic, they like to establish themselves in a certain field of work and take pride in what they do. In many a workplace of solid in nature, know-how and work ethic are greatly valued by their colleagues, with many taking on a more managerial role in later life. They can make good leaders and with their high standards also be hard taskmasters. They, are, they can find fulfillment in specialist areas where mastery of detail is important. Engineering, design, education, and the law could appeal, and with their ability to use their hands, they can also make skilled technicians, surgeons, and dentists. Oxen have an affinity with the outdoors, and farming and horticulture could also appeal to them. Another gift and passion can be music. Some oxen are to be found enjoying distinguished careers as musicians or composers. In matters of finance, oxen are cautious and manage their situations well. They like to consider their purchases carefully. They do not tend to overindulge and are good providers, making sure their own needs and those of the loved ones are well met. When saving or investing, often prefer, often, <laughs> oxen prefer more traditional routes, including those offering a set return, rather than speculating. However, should situations ever go against them, financial or otherwise, they can feel it deeply. They are poor losers and regard failure as a personal affront, but in time, they're sure to make good. Resolute, persevering, and objective, oxen are doers and survivors. They are also very much take-me-as-you-find-me sorts and do not tend to be flamboyant or showy in nature. It is because they are down-to-earth and unpretentious that so many hold them in high regard. You know you where you stand with them. The female ox tend to be more outgoing than the male, but, like him, she has a mind of her own, knows what and who she likes, and sets about her activities in an efficient and organized way. She has a practical disposition, could also have a deep interest in the arts, and be talented in certain areas. Both male and female oxen value family life and regard their home as a private sanctuary for them and their loved ones as well as a buffer from the sometimes crazy world outside. As parents, oxen are caring and encouraging as well as inspirational teachers, but are also strong on discipline. The patient and measured ways of oxen mean they sometimes hold back and may appear distant and aloof. They certainly do not lower their guard easily and take time before they feel at ease in the company of other people. However, they are loyal, sincere, and dependable, and it is because of these qualities, together with their commitment and hard work, that they often do well in life. Napoleon Bonaparte, himself an ox, once declared, Victory belongs to persevering, and oxens are certainly persevering. Slowly, steadily, and patiently, they are capable of achieving a great deal, and doing so in their own way, and often on their own terms. Tips for Oxen <laughs> You are a private individual and like to keep your thoughts and feelings to yourself. You do not readily engage in idle chatter. However, your reserved nature can sometimes deny others the chance of seeing the depths and warmth of your true personality. Try to open up more, for you could gain so much from interacting with those around you on a deeper level and from networking and allowing others to get to know you. Aim to be more visible so you can be appreciated more. You take your responsibilities seriously and work long and hard, but it's important that you give yourself the chance to enjoy the fruits of your endeavors. Quality time with your loved ones and time spent relaxing on pleasurable pursuits can do you a lot of good as well as help you to be at your best. You may favor tradition and have set views and interests, but rather than distrust change, do consider the advantages it can bring. Adapt in learning and exploring new areas can open up a whole new world. Venture out from time to time. You do not like to fail, so set about your activities cautiously and carefully. This may mean you don't always make the most of your chances or fully explore your talents and ideas. Have faith in yourself and be bold. Oliver Wendell Holmes and Ox wrote, Many people die with their music still in them. 
you have so much to give that you do need to make sure you use your gifts and talents fully. Life can be the most fulfilling and potentially successful as a result. <laughs> Majesty says, <laughs> I'm still working. Yeah, definitely busy today. Okay, relationships with others. Ox, you guys ready to get your jiggy vibe on? <laughs> with a rat, ox and rat. The ox likes the rat's warm and personable nature, and relations between them are generally good. In work, each will recognize and value the strengths of the other, and together they will make an effective team. The ox will especially appreciate the rat's drive and inventive streak. In love, these two are well suited. Both value their home life, and the ox will find the rat supportive and encouraging and value the color they bring to their life, a close and often successful match. An ox with another ox. There may be respect and understanding between these two, but both are independent-minded and like to have their own way. Relations could at times be problematic. In work, both are cautious, favor tradition, and are also very hardworking. If they can unite in a common aim, their tenacity and sense of purpose can deliver some good results. In love, two oxen will seek security and stability, but as both are strong-willed and forthright, differences of opinion could prove awkward. Also, there's a risk they could become set in their ways. With care, however, these two can unite and make the relationships work. With a tiger, the ox who values stability and keeping things on an even keel will feel at ease, uh, will feel ill at ease with the irrepressible tiger and relations between the two will be difficult. In work, the cautious ox could consider the tiger colleague rash and impulsive. Sooner or later, their styles will clash. In love, their very different natures may at first be intriguing to both, but as they live life at different speeds and have many different views, including on how to manage the household budget, of course, there will be issues to address, a challenging match. All right, the ox with the rabbit. With many shared interests and a fondness for the quieter things in life, these two signs relate well to each other. In work, they can combine their strengths to good effect, and the ox will value the rabbit's careful approach and sound business strength. In love, both yearn for a settled existence and attach much importance to their home life. The ox will appreciate having such a thoughtful and affectionate partner, and together they can enjoy much happiness, an ideal match. With a dragon, each recognizes the strength of the other, and in some situations, this can work to their advantage, while in others, can pose problems. In work, both are ambitious and diligent, and when united in a common aim, they can harness their different strengths to good effect, with the ox valuing the enthusiasm and enterprise of the dragon. In love, again, the ox can enjoy the warmth and zest of the dragon, but as both are strong will and the ox prefers a quiet existence and the dragon a livelier one, there will be differences to reconcile. A tricky match. Ox with a snake. Quiet, reserved, and thoughtful. These two feel comfortable in each other's company and relations between them are good. In work, there will be mutual trust and respect and the ox will value the snake's patient resolve and thoughtful approach. In love, they can find considerable contentment together with each admiring and encouraging the other. Both have culture, taste, and they will share many interests. The ox will appreciate the snake's considerate and affectionate ways and gentle humor. A good match. Ox and snake, a good match. Ox with a horse. With both being strong-willed and strong-minded, sooner or later the two will clash, and will most likely be sooner. <laughs> In work, they are both industrious and redoubtable, but the ox favors a steadier and more conscious, cautious approach than the horse. These two will prefer to stick to their own ways and methods. In love, these two live their lives at different speeds. The ox prefers slow and steady, while the horse favors rushing about. And neither will be disposed to compromise. A difficult match. Ox with a goat. The practical and dutiful ox finds it hard to relate to the imaginative and carefree goat. Relations between them will often be poor. In work, the approach and style of the ox and goats are so very different that there will be a lack of accord between them. In love, 
The ox, who was so careful and orderly, could soon despair over the goat's more easygoing and live-for-the-moment ways. Challenging match. With a monkey, their personalities are very different, but there is good respect and accord between these two, and relations will often be mutually benef be beneficial. Okay, the ox and the monkey. In work, both have drive and ambition, and the ox will recognize the monkey's resourceful and enterprising spirit. They can often combine their different strengths to good effect. In love, a positive, optimistic monkey partner can be good for the ox, and these two complement each other well. To together, they can find much contentment and can gain a lot from the relationship. With a rooster, the ox has great admiration for the orderly and efficient rooster. They have similar interests, and relations between them will be good. In work, both are methodical, conscientious, and keen planners, and the ox will hold the rooster's abilities and commitment in high regard. Together, they make an effective combination. In love, their similar outlooks and values combine well, as do their shared interests, including a liking for the outdoors. These two can have great understanding and love for each other. With a dog, both are dutiful and dependable, but can be forthright stubborn. Relations can sometimes be tricky. In work, the ox likes to get on with things and could feel hindered by the dog's deliberations, worrying, and idealistic tendencies. Not an effective combination. In love, these two share a major quality, loyalty. In addition, the ox will value the dog's affectionate nature and well-meaning and well-meaning what? <laughs> In addition, the ox will value the dog's affectionate and well-meaning nature. But they are both redoubtable characters and much effort will be needed if the relationship is to endure. And finally, with a pig. The ox likes and admires the genial and principled pig and relations between the two will be good. In work, both are scrupulous in their dealings and work hard and well together. The ox has great respect for the pig's commercial acumen and enterprise. In love, both value a calm and harmonious life and with interests in common can find much happiness. The ox can also benefit from the pig's more outgoing ways. And that's the action. That's the ox. Woo! A lot of work today. All right, guys. All right, oxes. Oxen. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you, anyone wants a personal reading, just check it out in the description box below. Uh, once again, every morning here on the channel, we have we do astrology. And every night, we do tarot readings for you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you drop by, please say hi. Remember, together is a beautiful day. And that's the action. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing all oxen out there this best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon.